Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages. Uh, real quick, an introduction to this one is that I, if you paid any attention to my prior videos, I played guitar for several years, a long, long time ago, and decided to maintain my sanity to pick it back up. And so here we are, and what I decided to do was, I when I learned way back when, when I was in high school, I never had any never had any lessons or anything else. I was always self-taught and just played by my ear um, as far as the beat goes and just knowing the song. So I've really, this time around, I've been trying to break bad habits like using my pinky and like tonight is gonna be about using the metronome and using my foot to keep time to play stuff and to really <clears throat> understanding the notes and, and things like that. So. Fender had this deal where they had a free three-month trial of their lessons. And um, you could pick a certain track you wanted. You could pick, like, rock. You could pick pop, I think it was, folk, blues, and there were some other ones. But I went with blues. And everything's going along well because everything's pretty straightforward until we hit one bourbon, one scotch, one beer. And the reason why that it took me forever to wrap my head around this is that in normal strumming, you have your quarter notes, which are, I'm just gonna do a C. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then you have your eighth notes, which are one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So the ands, what's being played in One Bourbon, One Scotch, One Beer. And counting that off with my foot, like I said, my I never have done this before and it's taking me a long time to get with the program, so to speak, where I'm, you know, if I try to use my left foot, I, I completely make a mess of it. So what we did was I just, you know, with a little bit of uh, practice, it was, So you get the gist of every time my foot, the tap is on the downstroke, the up is on the upstroke. And that again, that, that uh, uh, this lesson got me to realize that changing from the E7 to the B was super easy because I never real, I didn't, it never dawned on me that my middle finger was the pivot finger. And this was one of these chords that took me for, I, it, it's my weakness. So I'm still, you know, working on the tapping and then keeping the time and the metronome. And that's something that's going to take, I think, a little bit longer than anything else really for me. But uh, so that's it for tonight. Later, bye.